This week, President Donald Trump launched an all-out war against a hostile entity many feel represents a clear and present danger to the American way of life. You know, like the Japanese attacks on Pearl Harbor, it was sudden, deliberate, and by some accounts, unprovoked. But instead of bombs and torpedoes, the attack came in the form of a press release, announcing that for the third year in a row, President Trump would not be attending the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner. Now, Trump's decision not to serve as a human punching bag for the annual Trump and anything tied to Trump hate fest was characterized by Brian, CNN's Brian Stelter as an attack against the media. Quite a claim, especially coming from CNN, who always is attacking the Trump White House on an hourly basis, it seems. Now, the White House Correspondents' Dinner has long provided opportunity for the press and the White House to spend an evening gently poking fun at each other. But in recent years, it's become a forum for B-list comedians to steal a few seconds of fame by insulting a sitting president to his face in a crude or vulgar manner as possible. But here's the thing. This dinner is essentially a roast, and a roast is a tribute dinner disguised as an insult fest, disguised as a tribute dinner. That's how it works, or it used to. The goal of a roast is to entertain while getting a little rough, but the participants at a successful roast all love or at least respect each other because, again, it's a form of a tribute. You can't roast somebody you despise, and virtually every member of the media who attends the dinner despises Donald Trump. Far from being an attack on the media, Donald Trump's decision to pass on being the MSM's a dunk take stooge is more like a blow for civility and decorum. Things we're told are in short supply here in Washington. It also affirms what I've been saying for years. The White House Correspondents' Dinner, which used to be an enjoyable evening of political comedy and wit, has turned itself into something of a sad joke. How can the American people begin to trust the media to cover a president and his administration if they take such obvious delight in the low blows and maligning attacks on characters who are not even present? Some might say the president is getting what he deserves because of his negative comments in regards to journalists. But I say, a few laughs over rubber chicken and boxed wine is a high price to pay for the damage done to the reputation and credibility of an already vandalized industry. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.